create a new file for the header file. Looks like it's in the wrong location, so I need to find it again. Users, my name, co-ide, workspace. Okay, LCD tutorial one, and the main dot C will be under the app. So we're gonna select the header extension, call it LCD functions. Okay, so you can see another file was added called LCD functions, and there's no code inside this. So we need to take all the code. The first thing we need to do is, actually, I'm just gonna take it all at one time. All of this, the defines, the send the bit to the port and pin. Actually, I'm gonna do it one at a time. I'm gonna take the definition, define. Actually, you know, I need to do one thing before I do this. The first thing you wanna put into this LCD functions.h, and every header file that you make is using the if not define statement. And then you wanna end it. And this is a, a directive or a, um, a, a condition that I'm gonna implement that will only allow the function, the LCD functions to be executed once. Because we could have the LCD functions header file in many other files, many other sub files or other header files, other uh, C files, uh, as we make larger and larger programs and more sophisticated programs. We only want all that code that's within this, if not defined, to run once. So the way we do that is we create a define and we're gonna call this program something, LCD functions header. And we have to copy and paste that specification, that um, identifier to the if not defined and the name of the define. And then all the code that we don't want to run more than once will be in here. Because what it's doing is saying if, if, if the functions header is not defined, then define it, run the code, and then now it's defined within our um, entire solution. So now we can put the actual code within this location and it'll be it'll only run once. So let's go ahead and cut the defines and paste it in. So now these defines will only run once. I'm going to do the initialization first. That's why I wanted to do it one at a time. So set port and pin for output. That's going to be the first thing I want. Control X. And this is not because they have to be run in a certain um, certain order. It's because for me, it helps me understand and make the code more readable when I put the initialization at the top and I put the simple functions after that and then the more complex functions after that. So the, initial, the initialized ports for LCD, this is a little bit more complex than the, the actual specific function to do that. So we have the initialized ports for LCD. Now we're gonna to go to the next one, send a bit to the port and pin. So we're gonna X, we're gonna cut that and paste it here. And then we're gonna take the last one, which is the sending a character to the data pins, which takes advantage of the function we just created. So cutting that and we're pasting it right here. Oops, no, we're pasting it here. Okay, so we have the defines, setting a single, or setting the port and pin for output, a single port and a single pin for output. It goes through each one of those in the defines when we do it here. And then we're going to have the function for setting a single bit to a port and single pin. And then we'll send an entire character worth eight, eight bits. 
So this is the, the beginnings of the LCD functions. Go ahead and save. And notice that we only have a very little bit of code. We're doing the same, well, actually, no, we have to do this first. We need to include the LCD functions. So now we're including all of the code that we have here a single time. Now we can be pretty confident that all the code is being put into this location right here before the main and it should work. So let's go ahead and try it. I'm gonna go ahead and first do a build, see if it builds. That took longer than normal, but it's probably because it's processing the header file. And now I'm going to flash the microcontroller. The microcontroller is in the same state it was before. It's plugged in and you can see the letter C is there. So let's go ahead and flash it. And it looks like it still works, so success. Let's go ahead and put a D in there just to make sure that we're working with the right program and we're not working with some hex code that's in the, in the, in the folder. Let's um, do another build and flash the microcontroller. Okay, good. You can see that the A, B, and C use these two pins. Now the D has to go because um, A is 0, 1, B is 1, 0, C is 1, 1, and then D is 1, 0, 0. So that makes a lot of sense. So we've done a lot, actually. We've created a header file for the LCD, and we've put a lot of code in there that we've tested, it works, and we can be pretty confident that we can get a character to a set of pins, which can actually be used for lots of different things, but we're gonna be using it for the LCD at this moment. And we have our code compactly put into a nice include file, the LCD functions file. So now we can start looking at what we need to make the actual LCD work and look at the timing diagrams and and see what we have to send to the LCD to start putting in commands and, and having the LCD accept what we want to tell it. So let's get into that.